Hello, this is Lewis, and this is gonna be a quick video on how I managed to fix the outlets in my bathroom. And first, before we start, I just wanna say that if you're afraid or are not comfortable working with electricity, then hire an electrician. But before you do, um, make sure you watch this whole video to the end to find out how I managed to figure out what my issue was in my house. So the power of my, in the bathroom, in the master bedroom, uh, had no power in the outlets. I had power in the in the lights in the bathroom, power in my bedroom, but no power at all when you plug something in. So of course, I immediately walk over here to see if something tripped over here and I look through all the names and I see master bedroom. I see that it was in flick, but I turn it off and I turn it back on. Um, I see the, the bathroom receipts right here. I flick it off and I flick it back on. So, when I went to back to the bathroom, still had the same issue. It was not working. And uh, so I knew that the issue wasn't there. It wasn't in the box. So of course, what I did was, and like I said, if you're uncomfortable working with electricity, make sure that uh, you hire an electrician. And if you're not, then what I did was I switched some of the plugs in the, both plugs in the bathroom up with two plugs in the kitchen and connected the power back on. Well, of course I turned the power off. Turned the power back on and it still wasn't working, right? So um, I went on YouTube and I saw some videos of how some plugs have like a circuit. You might have two or three on one circuit and there's always like some that have doesn't have that little reset button on it and some that, that do, some that do, some that don't. So I came in the kitchen and I, w I wanted to see exactly what this was and see if my kitchen had the, the plugs with and without the reset button. So as you can see, this plug has the reset button. This plug doesn't have a reset button and it's on the same circuit along with that plug, which doesn't have the reset button either. I come over here over the stove. I got this plug with no reset button. It's on the same circuit as this one with a reset button. So now the issue is that the two in my bathroom don't have a reset button. So the only thing that I could think of is that there has to be a third plug somewhere in this house that I have not noticed, somewhere in this bathroom that I haven't noticed for the last five years that I've been here. So I dig all over the place and I look for this button and I can't find it or this plug with the reset button, I can't find it. And uh, nowhere to be found. I remember I had flipped the breakers in the uh, for the master bedroom, which turned off the power in my room and in the bathroom. So when I turned it back on, power came back on on my bedroom and the bedroom, but no power in the no power in the in the plug. So then I come back to the box over here and I try to flip all the buttons to see which one uh, all the breakers to see if I could figure out which one it is and and then for some reason it kind of hit me i saw the the one that said bathroom receipts and i said wait a minute well, how about the kids bathroom you know but of course i watched the youtube videos and they were saying that it has to be on the same circuit and then the but our bathrooms are so far apart like 20 feet apart and i don't know nothing about electricity you know so i said well let me watch the kids bathroom and see what their plug looks like because i know they only have one in that bathroom so I come to the kid's bathroom and I look at the plug that's plugged in, the plug that's on the wall here in the kid's bathroom. And what do I see? I see that. I see a power plug with a button on it. And it was weird to me because this is the only one in this bathroom and I couldn't figure out how this was related to the one in my bathroom when it's like 20 feet away. But I pushed it, I resetted it, and then guess what? I come over to my bathroom, and we have power. I was kind of shocked that it was that easy to fix. So, conclusion, before you start taking, switching these things apart with other ones, before you go to the breaker, before you mess with any electricity, um, look in the opposite bathroom in case 
your bathroom doesn't have a power supply with a reset button to see if the other bathroom has a reset button because even though they're this far apart for some weird reason they're still on the same circuit so all i had to do was walk in there and push that button and i got power in the bathroom and you, who would have known if i would have caught an electrician in and who knows how much i would have been charged just for him pushing the button you know so before you do anything look through all the power supplies and push see if there's like a reset button in the other bathroom if, if your bathroom is the issue and it should fix the problem so thank you for watching this video hope it helped out with your situation just like mine because i watched a couple of youtube videos and none of them mentioned that that you know my bathroom and the kids bathroom as far as they are apart are on the same circuit so that might be an issue with you but um thank you for watching like and subscribe for more future videos and uh hope you all have a great day thank you Thank you.